And that, that's what they're not saying. Yeah, you're not going to die today because of it. But believe me, if you're breaking the law, eventually you'll see the judge. And that's what brothers and sisters are not teaching. They're purposely aiming this towards us. Why? Because Gentiles never had a law. They don't care if they follow the law because it wasn't theirs in the beginning. So they're aiming this towards us. I'm going to go, but before you end the program, could you just tell us a little bit about, if you can, what's going on in Egypt? Because over here in the States, it's just like we're hearing one thing, and and, and I'm concerned because I have a cousin that's in, in Egypt. Okay, yeah, 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 I, I can do that real quick. Right, thank okay. you, sister. I'll do that right okay. now. Bye. All right. So, wow, this is a great call. Um Hello. First off, I want to say all praise to be to the Most High. Uh, we got a holy day that's coming uh, this Sunday, sundown. All right, and that that holy day is the memorial blowing of the trumpets, which is the holy convocation sundown Sunday. Because of this, because we got some of the schedules conflicted, we're going to start the academy the following Sunday. And I apologize to those who will do something to make it up, but. We're going to do the academy starting the following Sunday because Sunday sundown will be a holy day, which is Memorial Blunt Trumpets. Okay? Uh, the other thing is – okay, uh, real quick. We can take some calls. We can take some calls, and I'll make some announcements. Just remind me, Gaja – that we make announcements two minutes before the the call is done. Okay, and uh, I just um, like I said before, there are some bro uh, brothers and sisters who are in Egypt who are tuning in, and um, they sending they sending messages to me saying that everything is fine in Egypt. Just to put it on for the sister who just called. Uh, let's take. Okay, I think we, I don't think we have a lot of time left. I think we got more. But, um, da, 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 da. About 15, under 15 minutes left. So, uh, I, 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 um, I don't know. Do you want to take another call or would you want to do well, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Let's so take as many calls as we can. Just, okay. just go one after the other. Okay, no problem. Let's bring in um, Sister Charlotte. Hello. Hello, Sister Shalom. Hello. Shalom. Um, Elder Ricard, bless you. I just want to tell you that um, I have never been so, so, so proud of my elder. I mean, you held yourself together today, and you brought those scriptures home, and they still can't accept them, and that's their issue if they can't accept them. But um, as And as far as the Ten Commandments, it has always been done away with as far as the heathens are concerned because... They've been killing our people. The Bible, I mean, the Ten Commandments said, "Thou shalt not kill." They stole everything from us. They, are, you know, they should steal. They covet. They teaching it on in, in videos. They teaching people that it's okay to go out and do what you want to do. So they've never had respect for the Ten Commandments. You know, now they're just saying it out loud. You know what I'm saying? And this um, minister or whatever he called himself, he did not want to go past um, Mark 24 and one. And that's exactly what they do in those churches. They read that one scripture, and then they think they've hit the ball out the field. You know, they look. I'm just so proud of my brothers. That's all I can say is that keep up the good work, and may the Most High continue to put that spirit on you to teach and teach and teach, because you you're doing a wonderful job. And also, um, brother Gaji, is that how you pronounce your name? Gaja. Yeah, Brother Gaja. Gaja. I now remember you. Bless you. Someday you've got to give us that testimony when you receive that truth. I kept re trying to remember where do I know this voice from. Now I remember. And I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall when you realized that, oh, wow, <laughs> it's the real thing. But bless you, and I'm so glad that you came on in with this truth. And I just want to say that I love you guys and keep up this good work and bless you. Thank you, thank you, man. What a wonderful, blessed call, man. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm touched with that. Thank you, sister. I really appreciate it because 
it's not easy. And to hear words of encouragement sometimes, it's good, you know. Usually well, when you're dealing with the truth, it's, it's, it's all given, it's all, you know, and it's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's about doing it until the end and finishing and doing the work, but sometimes it's good to hear that the work is appreciated and we live that the truth resonates throughout the earth. So, Amen. You. That's right. And 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 one day you and um um brother Godja, y'all just got to tell us because we listen to you two guys go at it. And I mean, now we can look back at that and just crack up. But it's a blessing, Elder, that this brother is now sitting there with you teaching this word. Like I am so in awe about this, and I'm just excited. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I, he, he, Hey, he's, hey, he's, hey, the brother's no joke either, so. I know, that's what, you know something, you know something I said the father knew when he sat him down with Elder Ricard and they went to that little fighting or whatever, that he was going to use that brother right there, you know, and yeah, it's, that, just, it's, it's yeah, a yeah. blessing, man. Yeah, that's the brother told me don't open the book. Uh, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just rubbing it in a little bit. With, a little bit. I've been hearing him for the last few weeks, and. And I said, oh, I yeah. know this voice. I know this voice. He's and the sharp. other night, I went back He's and sharp. I said, oh, praise the Father. Yeah, that's praise it. Praise Him. And, oh, man, I, I kid you not. I, I hope, I pray that we can all really get together and just, you know, break bread and just talk about the good old times, man, like how we all came to the truth because that's so touching to well, know how awesome. the Father wakes us up and pushes us out there. And, oh, man, it's beautiful. But, well, bless you, sister. Let, 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 let me, let me get some more people. I know they're clamoring. We only got a couple of minutes left. Okay, bless you, brother. Shalom. All right, bless you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I wanted to say, man, uh, she brought so many good points to the table, and I thank the sister. And uh, so many good points. The fact that they never believed the commandments. And no one even asked the question. Sometimes I used to ask, like, what's so wrong about following the commandments? If the Most High took down his people because they didn't follow them, how can you now say to Christ, we shouldn't follow them? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, but I, I think the Most High, that he, he woke us up. You know what I mean? That he gave us the understanding, all praises be to the Most High, because these Gentiles who are both in the... And I'm, I want to make a disclaimer. I'm not talking about Gentiles who are in Christ. I'm talking about these pagan Gentiles like the guy that was on the phone today, who, who who want to fight against the knowledge of the truth and use our book in which he was grafted in. It wasn't even his book. And now he's going to come in and let us know what the gospel says? <laughs> come on, man. How, how dare you? Before you can teach anything, you must first acknowledge that you're living in a land that you stole from God's people. How about that? You think that have you think that'll help the Gentile? I mean, help the Israelites if you tell them, listen, you people were the people of the book, and you were taken down by the Romans because you went against God, and Christ came to save you out of your condition. You think that people would want to deny that type of truth if the Christian Church told them that? You don't really want us up, up all up in your buildings because if you told us the truth. With the truth, we would actually be there and say, you know what, let me hear some more. This makes sense that we fell. This is why you people have been destroying us so long, huh? And then it would lead to more questions. Well, if we're the people, who's those people over there that went there in 1948 uh, that were set up under the U.N. who are Jewish people? Who are they if we're the people? They don't want you asking those questions. Mm-hmm. What's next, Roger? Uh One minute. We have Brother Jared. Here with a comment. Brother Jared, sorry for the hold. Uh, welcome to the Search Engine International. Be live. Shalom, uh, Brother Gaza. Shalom, Elder. Shalom. I just, I just uh, kind of wanted to uh, make a comment, kind of want to uh, put my testimony out there. Um, I'm also a Church of Christ member. Uh, I just recently joined the Church of Christ, though, but I also just recently came into this troop. Um, I went to what you call a, a black university. So I learned some things there that kind of woke me up. And 
I started watching these YouTube clips and I found, you know, the, the a lot of the different Israelite camps. But I gotta say, when I found Jew Brothers, um, the Gathering of Christ Church, you know, the spirit was on me like I I knew these brothers were the truth. Um, but I, I grew up across the street from a um a minister of the Church of Christ. It was always kinda weird to me that, you know, he didn't celebrate holidays or anything. But um, I went to him and told him, you know, I was ready to be baptized and everything, so I, I joined the church. Um, just recently, probably the last year or so, I've been really, like, getting in, into this troop real tough. And um, just this last Sabbath, you know, uh, I got a friend of mine who I brought the troop to as well. He's ready to be baptized. And we uh, we took this to our minister, and we kind of opened his eyes to some things. So um, I just kind of uh, wanted to, you know, Put that out there too, because the same things that the that the brother was saying earlier, the um, that, that you guys had on earlier, the same things he was saying, my reverend was saying to me, and it just it was I, I could just hear the clear cut contradiction, and it's like I don't think he ever really just stopped to think about it. So, uh, you know, I just uh, kind of you know ask if if you, if you brothers to pray for me, with, um, my situation, because that's kind of been sitting in my spirit and. Uh, it is a blessing. I praise to the Most High, highly by Hashem Yishai, that I, you know, I got to get through tonight on the airways and actually tell you brothers about this, uh, what's going on, because I've been challenged. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bring like a, a presentation to the whole congregation, because we're we're not a big church. We're, we're a growing church, and this this uh, brother he's been in the ministry for a while, but um, he's gone through some tribulations. I'll just put it that way, and uh, he's got a. This is a new congregation, and, and uh, we're growing, and we're all. Um, we're all Israelites, but the sleek Israelites, you know. So our bones. Man, well, brother, that, that hey, brother, pray just be to the Most High, a higher Bashim Yeshaya, that you receive the word of truth, brother. And just you know, we, we got it set up where lawyer is dealing with people internationally and be able to help you set up that meeting with the people because what I would like to do is set up a meeting with the minister, not a debate. Just to just right. to talk to him, you understand, one on one and let him know certain information that was revealed. That because what what's happening is they're gonna to try to keep people still for the mass slaughter to finish what they did in seventy AD. And if they were if you were really of Christ, you would warn the people of Christ like Christ warned the people of Christ. You would tell them, listen, it does matter who you are because this is what they're looking to do to you according to prophecy. You are the people who will soon receive the promises. You've been trodden down, you've been poor, you've been destroyed, but now your time has come and the Gentiles don't want to give up their rule. So they're going to prepare to fight against Christ and in the interim, they're going to look to destroy us, Christ's people who've been through enough hell in this earth. So that's what he needs to know. All that going back and forth and this point and that point, once he understands that, the spirit bears witness to truth. Our brothers right. and sisters need to know why we're in this condition and understand it and know that the Bible speaks about it. So, brothers, just give us uh, some, some information and we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there and we'll, we'll help you in, in, your, in your quest, to, in your attempt to bring this word to to the people of your congregation. Man, I, I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm also I'm trying to um to get into the academy, the upcoming academy as well. So. Okay. Well just send an email to gathering at one, that's the number one at AOL dot com and we'll go from there. Okay, I think we're down to about two minutes, so yeah. Oh yeah, well, I, I was I was just gonna say I don't wanna cut you off though, but uh I, I sent them the 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 email that you guys know I was um I was interested, and uh, I'm, I haven't checked back, but I'm going to check my email to see if you guys replied. If y'all may have replied already. Okay. Just, um, well, well, uh, well, if you sent it, you will receive a response. Just give us time. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Hello. Oh, yes. And so, oh, that, that, that sister that phoned in before that was on, her father is a pastor in the in the um, Church of Christ. So that sister here. Oh, is, the sister that. Yeah. Her father's a pastor. Okay, all praise be to the Most High. Yeah. 